Vaccines today, on the whole, are pretty effective, but they're delivered with a needle and syringe, which is a technology that's been around for 160 years. And the needle and syringe has many problems. First is needle phobia. 20% of the population have that. Second is the vaccine is wet and it needs refrigeration. And the third is that um, the needle and syringe places vaccine into muscle, which is not considered an optimised immunological site. The skin in contrast is a preferred immune sweet spot. And so I thought, wouldn't it be great if you could remove that list of problems and have a completely new way of delivering vaccines? My dad was uh, in the Air Force, so I wanted to be a fighter pilot. And uh, that led me on to do engineering at the University of Queensland. And the next step, my PhD was in a, an area of rockets. And I was working on one of the world's largest and fastest wind tunnels funded by NASA. The way I went from rockets into biomedical engineering, into medicine, was entirely by luck. I gave a presentation at a conference and after my presentation, an individual came up to me and said, hey, I really liked your presentation. I have this idea to fire vaccines into the skin using rockets. And I thought, that's surprising. And that really resonated with me. The idea was to use a rocket to fire a microparticle vaccine into the skin at, at high speed. And by doing that, you penetrate the tough outer layer and just go into a shallow location as desired as a target spot underneath. It was ultimately purchased by a company called Pfizer, but it's not on the market today. There was a pivotal moment for me in 2003. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation put out a call for improving vaccines for the developing world. So I looked at the gene gun to see if it could work, and it turned out it was too expensive, too complicated. It's a rocket. So I took a step back and got out a blank sheet of paper and mapped the skin's immune system and designed a device from the ground up to meet that particular need. And that led to the nano patch. Uh, we're all familiar with standard patches, like a nicotine patch. And the way they work is quite different. It's a diffusion into the skin. It makes its own way in over time. Small molecules can do that. That doesn't work for vaccines. Vaccines are really big molecules. They can't get their own way into the skin. So under the microscope, if you looked at the nano patch, you'd see thousands of tiny little projections. And we dry coat vaccine to the tips of those projections. And when you apply the patch to the skin, that tough outer layer of the skin is breached and the vaccine is placed directly to thousands of those antigen presenting cells in the skin. The vaccine gets wet in the cellular environment. Within just a minute or two, the patch is removed and the vaccine's been delivered. In 2011, I realized to take the nano patch forward and turn it into a product, I needed to form a company. And so I founded Vaxis. Did 70 pitches to investors, and then finally it all clicked and came together and Vaxis has now taken the nano patch forward. It's partnered with Merck and the World Health Organization and also enjoys some support from the Gates Foundation. And the nano patch is currently under clinical testing. The nano patch is an Australian product to date, about 50 people have been working on that device. They've been based here, primarily uh, within Australia, and we've got a chance to help stimulate fresh lines of innovation in biotechnology. There's 14 million deaths per year due to infectious disease. And so my vision for the NanoPatch is to get more effective vaccines to more people and help save lives.